Hello and welcome. This is Ted Byerly, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer here at F5. And I'm here to talk to you today about the OWASP Automated Threats. Specifically, we'll be covering OWASP Automated Threat number 13, Sniping. The OWASP Automated Threats to Web Applications project was completed and identified named and classified various scenarios where automated software caused a divergence from accepted behavior, producing one or more undesirable effects on a web application. Web applications are subjected to unwanted automated usage day in, day out. Often these events relate to misuse of inherent valid functionality rather than the attempted exploitation of unmitigated vulnerabilities, which WAFs were designed for. The OWASP Automated Threats Handbook lists 21 categories that exist today and are listed here for reference. Today, I wanted to talk about OWASP Automated Threat number 13, sniping. For those not familiar with this concept, also known as auction sniping or bid sniping, this takes the form of an automated tool monitoring and placing a bid on an auction type site in the last milliseconds to win that bid. This then places normal bidders at a disadvantage, almost always losing the bidding process. A quick Google search just looking at tools that are available for one particular website had over 200,000 returns on this topic. These results were for hosted services and tools alike to take advantage of sniping. So how are you going to stop these automated threats? Simple. With F5's Distributed Cloud Bot Defense. As the picture shows, we have many solutions. Today, we're going to look at the WAP solution, although other videos have covered our F5 Bot Connector strategy. The first step on this journey is to recognize you have a bot problem. Don't worry, F5 has an easy solution to quickly implement bot defense in our WAP product. And now I'm going to transition to showing you the distributed cloud bot defense on WAP. First step will be to log into F5's distributed cloud console where it takes you to our standard landing page. You're going to select load balancers. And in this example, I'm going to verify the correct namespace. Once you're in the correct namespace, you can already see there's two load balancers already configured. We're going to take a look at one of the load balancers. You're going to click the ellipses to the right. Next, select manage configuration. And at the top of the page, we're going to pick edit configuration. Over in the menu, Bot protection, and as you'll see, it's already enabled. We selected the region, and we'll look at the configuration. The endpoints configured with from posts, with both protocols, any domain, the path, and the action. JavaScript's inserted where you want it to insert on the page, and if you're doing mobile SDK, which we're not in this case. So that load balancer is configured for bot protection. Now, I'm going to show you one that's not configured for bot protection. Same way, ellipses, edit configuration, bot protection is not enabled. You can go ahead and enable the bot protection. Once enabled, you can select a region. We're going to select US. Then we're going to do configure our policy. You endpoint. Configuration, add item, give it a name, a description if you may, what methods we're going to do. For this demo, we're just going to do a post, but all the methods are available. Which protocol, both HTTP and HTTPS, any domain. We're going to give it a path, and this is your protected endpoint path. Fill in your protected path. After that, you're going to pick a type of traffic, web, mobile, or both. 
for this demo we're just doing web traffic and what you're going to do with that traffic we're going to block it give a 200 and a message back click apply apply then we're going to pick where to insert our javascript with its name we're using the recommended location click apply scroll to the bottom of the page click save and exit take you back to your main load balancers page now we're going to take a look at that load balancer configured and this is a main dashboard but we want to look at security monitoring and then we show all the security events related to that load balancer we're going to take a quick look at bot classification three tiles down on the page click on one of the events and it takes you into a drill down page where you get all the details with your IP method what event and where and action that was taken I wanted to reiterate how quickly and easily you could protect yourself from these OWASP automated threats with F5's distributed cloud bot defense. I just demonstrated how to quickly set it up on your load balancer and F5 will do the rest of making sure your application is used in the way you want it to be used and not abused.